Hi, this is Steve Wilson. I'm here to tell you about an amazing new quilting technique. You know, one of the problems with quilting in your hoop, like we have always done at Anita Good Design, is that there's only certain things you can do and there's a lot of things you can't do. And one of the things you can never do is, is do a spiral quilt. Because whenever you're folding your fabric in the hoop, that last fold essentially has to fold into your seam allowance or there'll be an open end and it'll be baggy. It'll look really weird and it and essentially doesn't work. So we experimented and experimented and we finally figured out how to do it. And this new collection is called Radial Quilting 123. And it's essentially our folded fabric technique with a unique twist at the end. So if I show you here with our sew outs, normally you would do your placement stitch, you add your batting, and we add our first piece of fabric. And then we would lay our first piece of fabric down as an applique. When you do radial quilting, it's done differently. We lay our first piece of fabric down and instead of attaching it, we kind of leave it free floating. Now, the, the reason for this is it's actually your first piece of fabric and your last piece of fabric, and that'll make more sense. So we leave this free floating, we go to our next step, and essentially it places all of these pieces of fabric. So standard, stitch it, fold it, tack it in place, and keep going. So we get to the end, and we have our flap that was originally our first piece of fabric. So what do we do with this now? How do we finish this off? Well, we figured out by placing unique guideline stitches here, we simply take this last piece of fabric or first piece, depending on how you look at it, and fold it under, just like that, and we form a straight seam. We tape it in place, and then it stitches this really unique tacking stitch. So when this design is done, you wind up with a perfect spiral that goes all the way around and you can't even tell which was the first piece, last piece, or ever went, which way you want to look at it, where the beginning or end is. So this is like a really innovative technique. It's never been done before in your hoop and the possibilities now are, are endless. Now you're probably wondering why the centers of these designs are empty. Well, we made this technique so you can add the radial quilt in different combinations, you know, eight fabrics, 16 fabrics. You can see all these little differences here and all the amount of fabrics we use. Well, we wanted to leave the middle blank so you can add any design you want. So it really expands on our quilting one, two, three concept. But instead of a big square in the middle of a block, you get this small circle. So really any design that is bigger than an inch and a half can fit there. So you could put a big design, a small design, it doesn't matter how much of this is filled but you get to enjoy this, this really innovative technique. Now, the tutorial book's gonna really demonstrate how to do it step by step. It's really easy. And one of my favorite parts about this is depending on how you pick the fabric, these fabric colors will continue into the next block. And you can see some of the examples that you're seeing on screen right now, quilts we've created, of how these quilts then go together. To me, showing the eight inch block doesn't do it justice is when you see 20 of them or 30 of them together, you'll really see this radial pattern appear. We hope you enjoy this newest technique, radial quilting. It's the perfect complementary tool to add to all of your mix and match quilting that you currently do with Anita Good Design.